I've decided to push on with my crazy beetroot and squid idea. I know Gary is not sure about it, but I have to back myself. I've got my beetroot juice, and now I'm going to mix it with my squid. There's no going back now. It looks awesome. I really hope this works. Reynolds, should I be concerned about him? No, because we know he's brilliant at this. You yep. know, he's playing, he's playing to his strengths with almonds and citrus, and he'll have lots of interest right. on there. Georgia, figs, chocolate, you know, daquas, it all kind of makes sense. That's really great. Yeah. And, you know, Billy, the stack, I've got a question mark next to it. How's yeah. it going to look? Yeah, I've got a funny feeling it's not going to look right, but you never know. She might uh, do her Billy magic and put a beautiful dish on the plate. Um, I'm a bit worried about Jessica's uh, chow and mushi. They're easy to make, they're quick to make. So what can you do to put little jewels of flavour or pops of crunch on there? I think that's the key. Because they're amazing cooks, you know. I mean, it's about getting it right on the day. And at the start of the week, especially this week, we need to be building on success. Today, I am making a prawn chow and mushi, which is a savoury Japanese steamed custard. And I'm just putting my custards together, putting some little prawn in the bottom, the custards going in there. These custards don't leave me much wriggle room timing-wise, um, so they can't go on too soon or too late, because overcooked or undercooked are both really bad. It's finals week and we're expecting great things. 15 minutes to go. Come on. Come on. Today I'm making a dessert with almond ice cream, almond sponge cake and lemon curd. George said don't forget flavour, so I'm going to add a meringue, lemon jam, milk skin and an almond twill to my dish. It's a lot of stuff, I know, but I'm going to give it a crack. The next thing I do is start working the milk skin. The whole saucepan has been in the oven to make the skin form on the top. Then, stupidly, I touch the handle and it's scorching hot burn myself. It hurts like hell, but I can't let it get in the way. I gotta push on. Today I'm making a chocolate dakwa with beetroot poached figs and a dark chocolate ganache. My dakwas are in the oven. I'm about to juice my beetroot. I'm going to use the beetroot juice to make a poaching liquid for the figs, and then I'm going to reduce it to make a syrup for the dessert. Georgie, you look like you're freestyling. <laughs> um, I know what I'm doing. Yep, using a lot of the ingredients from the mystery box. How are you going to bring this all together on the plate? Um, I want it to be really colourful. I want there to be different levels of texture, different levels of flavour. We've got an ice cream to go there. What's going to... Is there any cold element? There's no ice cream, no. OK. okay. Um, It really sounds like he wants me to put an ice cream on this dish. He's probably right, and I've still got a bit of time, so I'm going to do a beetroot cream. I need to get a serious wriggle on. It's time to check my beetroot-soaked calamari. I pull it out of the juice, and it's purple. It is completely purple. It looks crazy. <laughs> it's looking really cool. And as I pan fry it, it starts to go orange as well, so I just scored myself another colour. <laughs> You've got to think of this as part of your finals, and you won the top score. Ten minutes to go. Come on. Come on, guys. Ten minutes ago, and my hand still hurts. But I've got to get everything together. My sponge cake, lemon jam, twill, and my ice cream. I've left a, a fair while to play it up. I want to make sure that the dish looks nice because the judges have really sort of hammered me about that today. So I take the stack out of the fridge and I'm really hoping that it doesn't collapse when I turn it out. Wow. If this doesn't turn out properly. I have nothing left to use. 
It's the only one I've got and I'm rapidly running out of time. So I carefully lift up the mould off the stack and it, it seems to be holding up okay. I'm so relieved that it's worked. I did not have time to make any more, so really happy that one worked. Now I just have to put in all of my effort to plating up this beetroot dish. I'm just scattering the crumb and the smoked ricotta freely. I like it, I think it's looking really modern. I don't know why we're telling you, with five minutes to go, start plating up. Come on guys, let's go. Come on. I finished cooking my squid, but now I need to move on to my prawn crumb before plating. I've toasted off my almonds and I'm deep frying some of the prawn meat. But I really want this crumb to have a really punchy prawn flavour, otherwise it'll be pretty bland. As a last minute thought, I kind of think, why don't I just use the prawn heads that I fried up earlier? When I eat prawns, I kind of eat the whole prawn anyway, so what harm would it be just adding the heads into the crumb? I like this crumb. It's pretty punchy now. It's, it's undeniably prawn. So now I have all my elements ready. I just want to spend some time to really get the plating right. And I still hope that this beetroot and squid combination pays off. Last push. Three minutes to go. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm taking my chow and mushy custards out of the steamer and they look great. But I look around and see all the other dishes and realise that I need to take this dish to another level. I've got some squid in the freezer, so I've decided I'm going to make some tagliatelle out of the squid. I really am hoping that this works. There's some amazing food out there. But you know, it doesn't look spectacular. You won't win. One minute to go. Come on. As I'm putting all the elements together, I'm pretty happy. I think this dish looks good. 30 seconds! Oh. I'm loving plating up my dessert. I love how it's all coming together. Amp is absolutely delicious. It's got a creaminess to it. It's just yum. I'm really excited to get excited about this dessert. Can't wait to taste. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. <laughs> Time's up. Looking down my dish. I like it. It's looking really modern. I'm really happy with my dish. I think I've hopefully proved the judges wrong in that it's not a typical vegetable stack and it's it's something more modern and hopefully more tasty. How did you go? Oh, it looks yeah, beautiful. It's it looks big. really nice. <laughs> my dessert's a little larger than life and probably a bit bigger than what I wanted it to be, but I love the way it all turned out and I'm really excited for the judges to taste it. It's got to that point where it's a pleasure watching you cook. Not only are you calm, but putting some beautiful food on the plates. We can't wait to taste. And this is where it counts. The confidence booster and mystery box win. Who knows? First up. Sarah. As I walk my dish up to the judges, I'm thinking, how is Carrie going to react to my beetroot and squid dish? If he still doesn't think the combination works, I'm not only going to look utterly ridiculous, but my start to finals week could be an absolute disaster. The first dish we'd like to taste belongs to Sarah. I'm about to have my dish tasted by the judges. Gary doesn't believe in the combination of squid and beetroot. 
So he's either going to think I'm a complete idiot or a genius. What's the dish? So it's kind of textures of squid. So I have the pan-fried beetroot ones, deep-fried legs, and a squid ceviche. I wouldn't have gone near beetroot and squid. I've got to say, it looks mm. absolutely spectacular. You've done it brilliantly. That colour is just amazing. For me, it's the best plated food I've seen this season in a mystery box challenge. Wow. But there's nothing I'd do to that. Hopefully, <laughs> we're dizzy after we eat the thing. It's the best food you put up in this competition for me. Wow. Thoughtful, creative, and this is the time to be doing it. Finals week. Sarah, for me, great dishes are like a playground. And that is what this dish is like. Because every corner of the plate has a surprise, has a contrast, has creaminess and freshness from the, from the dill, a really funky, prawn-heady flavour in the crumb, which goes beautifully with the tentacles. Well done. Love it. Thanks. You know, it's funny, when a young apprentice comes to you, there's a point where you've got to go, you know what, I can't teach anymore. It's time for you to go somewhere else. Sarah, it's time for you to go somewhere else. Can't teach anything else. I can teach you how to run a restaurant. I can teach you all the nuts and bolts of it, how to do things faster, how to be more precise. But creativity, you're there. Wow, thank you so much. This is a really special moment for me, and I'm glad I backed myself because it paid off.